<coughs> hey guys, welcome back to this episode. Today we're gonna do something really different. I'm gonna call it the stay at home quarantine skincare routine. Yeah, you heard that right. And this is because Malaysia is having a two weeks country lockdown meant to control the coronavirus and prevent people from going out and meeting each other to spread the disease. I think this is not an excuse for people to you know skip their routine because they're at home, they're not going out, there's no point. Trust me, when you finish this lockdown and come up, you are not going to be some old wrinkly person. You're going to have really glowing skin and outshine everyone. Imagine that, like everyone comes out of their room being all you know, shriveled and scared of the sun, whereas you are glowing. <laughs> all right, I'm going to start off with the day skincare routine. For me, it's very simple. I only have three items. Let's begin. So every morning when I wake up, I am in love with this new face wash by Simple. I feel like I didn't give this brand enough credit. This is the Simple Daily Detox Skin Purifying Facial Wash. It's almost like a mini scrub and it has no scent. The best part about this is it has witch hazel to tone down your skin's oiliness and also to clear off excess shine and dirt from your skin. I absolutely like it. When I wake up and when I'm going to bed, it just clears everything, you know, any harsh soap formulas like most drugstore brands do. So if you're looking for something that is calming and clears your skin, this is it. Next, I'm going to put a vitamin C serum on my face so that I have a nice shine and glow to maintain my skin's healthiness when I do come back from the lockdown. I think I mentioned this before, this is the Sun By Me Galactomyces Pure Vitamin C Serum. It's really potent. I don't know if you can see the color, it's like a dark amber. Whoa, probably like this amount of drop will do. And it's really nice and um, viscous for my face. So just leather it up. So I find this whole coronavirus, COVID-19 thing just a little bit out of hand. Malaysia has been, I don't know, entering some kind of panic buying. And in the past few days, people have been trying to leave their homes to go back by the kampong and it caused a massive jam especially between Singapore and JB just look at the pictures it's crazy they want to go home before the lockdown starts and it's just crazy alright my face is all moisturized so last off I use a moisturizer that has sunblock in it this is by Hada Labo the 5 in 1 UV cream guys just because you're indoors does not mean you don't need sunblock I'm sitting right in front of a window and let me tell you there are actually UVA and UVB rays flowing through the window and subconsciously burning my skin which a lot of people are not aware of. So you actually can get sunburn even though you're indoors. Let me remind you of that. <laughs> this one is a 5-in-1 moisturizer. I mentioned this product in my previous video. It has a moisturizer, essence and sunblock and a makeup base and primer, something like that. It's a huge tub. 90 grams it can last a long time. I'm just gonna take a little bit of it. The texture is like a white creamy moisturizer and just dot over my face. I think I need more for my forehead. And just smooth it up. It's a tad heavy. You might get skin oiliness from this, but at this stage I think I'm fine with it because I'm at home and I don't have any um, outdoor pollution to make it even worse. So to me, this is okay. There's no fragrance at all, which is the best part. Not really that particularly scared about this whole lockdown. I think in the end, it's my mom who is more hysterical about it. She's reading the news every day on her phone, you know, like all those group chats and also maybe fake news, who knows? But I don't really feel that impact about it. I just stay at home and do my thing and just relax. I have to work from home anyway, so my job and tells me to do graphic design, which is also quite a solo job, per se. Alright, and that's it, we're done with today's skincare routine. How fast was that? It's really fast. It's really quick and easy, just three items. I'm gonna go about my day and staying at home. It's gonna be pretty chill. Hopefully, I might do a vlog about that, maybe. A stay at home quarantine vlog. And I'll come back to you guys for the night routine in a while. Alright, I just washed my face and uh, getting ready now for the real deal, the nighttime skincare routine. <laughs> okay, that's a lot of things. I always find nighttime skincare routines to be more elaborate and uh, I'm not different. You know how the Koreans have like the 10 step 
skincare for night. The most I have done is nine steps. So one more step for me and I can be a Korean. To me, it's really important for the night because that's when you sleep and your skin rejuvenates. So without further ado, I'm gonna dive in right now to my first step after a cleanser, which is a toner. I'm really trying to finish this. It's almost done. It's the Kosa Reps AHA Beach A Clearing Fine Treatment Toner. That was a mouthful. And you just spray in your face and it will help to kind of clear your dead skin cells because of the hydroxy acids that start. I hope I don't spray into my eyes. Okay, that was that was fast. And you just pat 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 into your skin. To be very honest, I don't even think this product works. But I'm just gonna finish it anyway. So I like to start from the lightest to the most heaviest liquids. That was pretty light. The next one I'm gonna do is this ampule, which is Centella Aesthetica or Sika, which is all the rage right now by this brand, Skin 1004. I think I mentioned this product before in my previous vlog. It's really huge. I'm also still tr struggling to finish it. And it kind of clears your skin in ways. Damn, damn. Chop, chop, chop. In my memory, I realized that as a millennial, I have actually lived through, survived many global outbreaks. The more I think about it, you know, there was the SARS that came in in 2003. That was pretty massive. Then there was, I think, H1N1 that just blew everyone off, especially Malaysia. Then there was the Ebola. And then there was Zika, which I thought was kind of similar. I'm not really sure. I think they both came from Africa. I might be wrong. And then there was Influenza A, which just came very shortly before COVID-19. So I have lived through five outbreaks. Still surviving, still alive. Cleansing your face is going to strip off all your oils and uh, all your skin moisture. To replenish it, I'm going to use this Hada Labo, one of my favorite go-to, which is the moisturizing lotion. The best seller actually. And you just need a little bit. Oh, that's too much. <laughs> it's really thick and a little goes a long way to bring back all that lost moisture through that double cleanse. It can get pretty rough on your face if you don't moisturize enough. My aim eventually is to get like that skin in that commercial of that lady doing that that thing. I don't think it's happening. Where the skin is so supple, it just bounces off your hand. Almost there. Okay, how many was that? I lost track. I think that was three. Right, next up, I'm going to use Right, next up, I'm gonna use this serum which my sister gave me. I'm not really familiar with this brand. She just passed it to me and I thought, why not I finish it? It's a brand called Eclado. And this is the respiration serum and it's all in Korean. I don't really know what's going on. But it says it's meant to improve overall skin texture. How generic. Nevertheless, and I can always do with a serum. So let's squeeze it. It's a transparent texture, I don't think you can see. So what would be three things you guys would need or could not live without if you were to have a complete quarantine lockdown in your house? One, two, three, go. I think everyone has the same answer. It would be like their phone. For me, I think I would need my phone, my laptop, and my piano, which is sitting right next to me on my right. I cannot live without my musical instruments. That's how I can keep my sanity because it's how you express yourself. And if I'm in a situation where I'm so contained and deprived, I would need an outlet. Hence, music is a very good way. Okay, so this one, the texture is pretty light. I think it seeped through. My skin is really struggling now to absorb anything more, but I don't know what you guys think. Obviously, these are marks that I have from my previous blemishes, which I am so bad, I always pick at it. You know, I should not. But a little goes a long way in all your skin repertoire. Okay, moisturizing time. It seems that my face looks moisturized, but trust me, you do need one to kind of like seal it in. This one is a new product my sister gave me also. It's called Organic and it's an Australian product, which the maintaining point attracts me, has materials from spring water. Sort of like Evian, I would say. The water is collected from a place called Olinda Spring in Dandenong, Melbourne, which I have been to myself. And this one has macadamia nut oil and sour plums. Somewhere along that. It does smell a little bit sour. So this jar is lasting pretty long for me. All I need is a decent amount. This is the rehydrating night cream. It repairs, restores and rejuvenates. 
can't get enough of that. Texture wise, it is a little heavy for those who hate thick creams. I'm obsessed with heavy stuff because my face gets dry during the night. In all honesty, I don't think I ever predicted that this COVID-19 would ever happen. It came all of a sudden in the early 2020, but I heard that there were signs of it being uh, appearing on uh, the end of 2019, December period in China, but no one believed them at the time. I'm just so, I don't know what's the word, bewildered, confused. And at the same time, I'm just like, oh, this is nothing new. Another virus appears. I'm really hoping for COVID-19 to just clear off so I can go out and enjoy my life. And to finish up my skincare routine, I need something to seal in all of those products, which is the heaviest one. This is rose hip oil. Who says that you can't enjoy and pamper yourself when you are having a home quarantine? I really believe that this is the period where you can actually just pamper yourself more because you have so much time and there is a lot of things you can try. You can even spend 20 or 30 minutes just doing your face and it'll be fine because there's nothing else to do. <laughs> so this one has a light pale yellow color. I just need a few drops. And I like to use facial oils because they give my face that suppleness and moisture that sometimes moisturizers cannot give. But I have to bear with the fact that my face is very oily after this and I should not touch my pillow with my face forward because it will just leave oil stains everywhere. This is, this is for me the bonus. I have a lot of excess oil on my hands. I will just put them on my neck. Like so. Whatever excess product I have, I put on the neck so that my skin on my neck does not get wrinkly when I'm older. You know how you would see people when they have a very good skin texture? and then their neck is a bit like old and wrinkly and it has spots and splotches they don't really take care so might as well you just put the products that are left over on your hands on your neck all right we are done with our night skincare routine how many was that can you come with me no. oh in the end i actually managed to do eight products today for my skincare routine still two more shots from the korean regime dang it i almost had it all right that's it is my skin glowing now? I think it's because of the oil. Thank you guys so much for watching my whole stay at home quarantine skincare routine for both day and night. It was a real pleasure to share with you what I do and also how you can maintain your skin complexion. Just because you're indoors doesn't mean you can't have good skin. Always keep that in mind. All right, what I intend to do is natural mask by mixing up my own oats and honey and lemon, make it into a paste. I might want to explore on those things homemade mask because they are technically free in a way and they are very organic based so it might be good for my skin stay safe everyone and i'll see you guys next time bye